Welcome back. We are day one of Ritual League. We're playing an SSF softcore. Like my character so far, and it's a little bit, a little bit of something old and a little bit of something new. So I wanted to show it to you. We are level 82. We got a five link, got some stuff. We're playing an elementalist and we're playing a trapper. So I'm going to pop a map in here and kind of talk over the background so you can see what's going on. I have a nice, I think it's a tier five blue map. Just wanted to do something for the, the, the sake of completion when Xana gave it to me. So just something nice and easy so you can kind of see exactly what's going on. We're playing Explosive Trap, but instead of playing a Trapper as a Saboteur, which is kind of what you would normally expect. Nice lag. Hey, look at that. Instead of playing it as a Saboteur, we're playing it as an Elementalist instead. So why are we doing this? The, uh, the, the Saboteur Ascendancy got changed. The 30 increased AoE that used to be on the uh, the top node of Saboteur. I forget the name of it. The node that gives you all the crit chance and crit multi. There used to be 30 AoE on that. And they moved it. GGG took that 30 AoE. And instead, they put it onto... Um, the one node that a Trapper would never take. Chain Reaction. So if you were to take the, the, uh, the four point for Chain Reaction in the Saboteur Ascendancy... It would mean that you're giving up regen, or you're giving up blind, or you're giving up damage. You're giving up something in order to do that. And I wanted to play some explosive trap, but I didn't really have a plan of how I was going to get that AoE back. And I didn't want like 19 or 20 AoE on my explosive trap. I wanted big AoE. So part of the elemental ascendancy, which is the so Uber Lab. I don't have my Uber Lab yet, but part of the elemental ascendancy is. 60% increased AoE. Let's go like this. 60% increased AoE. And then for bosses, you lose the AoE and you get 30% more damage. So that's the convergence mechanic. It's called Heart of Destruction. So I wanted AoE. The Elementalist was something new. Yeah, and the Saboteur got changed. So this is this is the reason that we're playing the Ascendancy. And the build's turning out pretty well so far. We're on a 5 link. We are level... What is this? Level 82 right now. Pretty pretty much having a good time. I think we have like one death or so. Listen, I was tired. It was post-stream. And I was still mapping. It's like the number one way to die. Is playing PoE when you're still tired. But the build's been going quite well. Um, I'm going to show you a POB as well. And kind of walk you through what my choices were show you the gem links show you my gear and show you what i'm prioritizing um but before that point i want to finish this map so i might as well tell you how i'm feeling about the league mechanic itself i'm um we have one left all right let's go to the last one over here somewhere i'm surprised that the lead mechanic is so smooth it's really fun it's it's like non-invasive it doesn't get in the way it's fun. It's excellent for SSF. It's kind of hectic, but it scales well. Like, you know, doing these at level 1. It was it was, was kind of scary at level 1 or level 2. Um, but they were still doable. And I remember leagues like Incursion a long time ago. Where uh, one of the biggest complaints early on in the league was, Okay, well, I can't do my Incursions early on. I can't kill anything and I just die. And I don't have enough time. So the fact that this has scaled so well really makes me happy. Let's see if we can grab something here. Six passive exerted attacks. Go ahead and grab one of these uh, one of these things. And then if I don't really want anything else, I'm just going to grab some monies. And then we will get out of here. So let me show you the POB for this. I have my POB of what I plan the character to be. And then I also have the POB of what the character is right now. So this is the current character. Let's go... Zoop, this is the current character. We're sitting at 169% life, level 82, no bandits over here. We're playing Explosive Trap. So Explosive Trap is 50% fizz converted to fire by itself. You can convert with gloves, you can convert with Chernabogs, you can even convert with these nodes over here because it's a spell and it works that way. But I'm choosing to go Avatar of Fire because I want to ideally be using some unique gloves later on. Um, if you know anything about Trapper builds, you know that Slave Driver's Hand is a excellent incursion specific unique item and i'm going to be using the uh the new echoes of the atlas mechanics the atlas skill trees in order to target incursions so that i can try to get those gloves so what do we have going on right now we're about 5,000 life 
We have a little bit of offense, a little bit of defense. This is just about all of the uh, the damage that I'm going to get. We have the normal uh, trapper miner stuff over here. A little AOE and a little crit. That's about it. We're going to be grabbing a bunch of life notes from here on out. Passing down to tireless and then filling in jewel sockets for as much life as possible. I don't think we're going to go down to constitution. We might. If I end up using a different uh, method of converting instead of using avatar fire, I might trim this part of the tree and go down to constitution. But even then... I think uh, I think I should be able to get to 7k life without too much uh, too much difficulty. So for the skill gems themselves, uh, I think every trapper should be using charge traps. So I'm using charge traps too. It's awesome. Charge traps is the reason that we're using uh, a plus one frenzy over here because you see my trap throwing time right now is 0.36. I wish this were a little bit faster, and that's one of the reasons that I want to use architect's hand so much, or architect's hand, slave driver's hand, in order to get cast speed applies to trap throwing speed so that's my plan for the build we are explosive trap ellie focus cluster trap inspiration and charge traps remember that traps and mines the traps and mines themselves don't gain inspiration charges but you gain inspiration charges and that gives you damage so inspiration does still work here for our planned sixth link we would just toss in trap and mine damage as well the only reason i'm not using trap and mine damage right now is it's not in the color of the chest piece that i currently have so this is fine and then for our ascendancy, we are doing this. My first four labs, I wanted to be ailment immune as soon as possible. So we went all the way for Elemancer. We are using a couple golems to juice up our damage. No, oh, excuse me. We have Chaos Golem, Ice Golem for, for uh, crit chance. And then we have Flame Golem and Stone Golem. If I need more cast speed after I get Slave Driver's Hand, I might drop the Ice Golem and start using a Lightning Golem instead. That would give me more cast speed and then more cast speed, increased cast speed. And then that cast speed would turn into trap throwing speed. So that's one of the things I'm looking for. So we have a bunch of damage. We have physical damage reduction, regen, and either speed or um, speed, damage. I got to go look at the list of golems or crit chance. There we go. That's the last thing that I forgot. So, regarding the choice between Saboteur and the Elementalist Ascendancy, is this node here, this Heart of Destruction, this is 60 ink AoE. So normally, on a Trapper, like last league, you would only get 30 AoE. This league, instead, you get zero, unless you're going all the way over to Chain Reaction, right? So Chain Reaction does have 50% ink AoE, but I don't want to drop Pyromaniac, because I like the regen and like the Immune to Shock. And I like the blind from Born in the Shadows, and I don't know what I would want to do instead. So instead of making that choice, I went for a different Ascendancy to get everything. So this is going to give us 60 ink AoE for clearing, which is going to be a tremendous amount of AoE. It should be about 29 or, or 30 uh, AoE radius by the time we get this character fully fleshed out. And then we also get 30% more damage against single target. It's going to be a lot of damage. As long as we can make up with, like, you know, defense on the rest of the character, I think it's going to be very good. Um, Mastermind of Discord kind of makes up for the penetration that you lose from the Saboteur Ascendancy. Saboteur gets damage, penetrates 10 Elires, and we get 25 penetration. So remember, exposure, penetration, those are basically the same thing. And that mana regeneration is quite nice. Even already, I'm kind of appreciating that. So that's what the skill tree looks like. The rest of this is just, like, ways to boost our damage, ways to boost our defense. We're using Herald of Ash, Skitterbots, and Clarity right now. Later on, that Clarity is going to become Vitality to make our life regen even better. And then we have a, instead of a trigger weapon, we're using an Arcanist brand. So Arcanist brand is giving us Wave of Conviction and Assassin's Mark. It's important to note that the uh, Wave of Conviction is especially strong because of Mastermind of Discord. And it also gives us 1% of mana regenerated per second because we are applying the exposure. Because even though it's not an Arcanist brand, that Wave of Conviction counts as me, so it counts as something that I've inflicted. So, that is just about that. As for the gear itself, let me swap over to a different view, and I'll show you this guy here. Joop. Alright, so we are on a 5 link. Our weapon has fire damage, fire damage to spells. This is just a regular Topatante mod. This could have been a delve weapon as well, but it's just something that has a little bit of fire damage on it. Then we put trap throwing speed. Ideally, we would also have trap throwing speed on the belt, but it's just life res on rustic sash so we're base fizz so global physical damage does apply to explosive trap feels good um yeah just life res we got pretty lucky with the ritual mechanic 
one of our rituals drops double tier one life on boots with res, res, and an open prefix. So this is like, this is the um, the cream of the crop right here for me. This is probably my best item at the moment. We have one jeweler's touch that we found naturally. We have another jeweler's touch that ritual gave to us, and then harvest crafted another five link. So we just we're swimming in five links after you know ten or twelve hours of played. This is pretty fun so far. Our uh, <laughs> our rings have life res. Our amulet almost literally only has life on it. But uh, you know when you're when you're this green into a league when you're this early on, that's just about all you need. Eventually we'll drop the mana flask. We don't have a diamond flask right now, but we'll get one eventually. Um, I wanted a little bit of extra defense after Act 7 or so, so I opted into the Granite Flask instead. Well, hopefully, within SSF, I can still find a Diamond Flask someday. I don't really need it, to be fair. I have a tremendous amount of damage, but I'd like to have the Diamond Flask at some point. So, the League's pretty good. Been enjoying it. We are... Let's see. We put in a long day yesterday, so we have about 13 hours played, about 12 hours yesterday, maybe an hour and a half today. Uh, and then we have some more work to do in order to do something with this maven mechanic right where did my maven thing go i had it a moment ago wait did she take it from me did she take my maven thing uh-oh wait i had a maven orb at some point what where did it go uh-oh all right well not only do i have to level some more and not only do i have to fix my gear but apparently i also need to figure out where my maven orb went <laughs> where did my maven thing go what the heck all right well, thanks for being here. Uh, YouTube, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comments to this video here. If you want to watch live, twitch.tv slash pig, and we'll see you next time.